Hi, fourth grade, it's Mrs. Boswell, and today we're going to be doing module six, lesson number one. Make sure and pause as you need throughout the video, and make sure you have your journal out and you've labeled it module six, lesson one. Today we're going to be learning about um, the metric measurement to model and decompose of one whole into tenths. So we're going to be using our fractions again, okay? And we're gonna kind of look at it a little bit differently. So I'm gonna kind of start here with you. You can see I have this balance beam and I have two buckets. It's kind of hard to see both buckets, but here they are, okay? And what we wanna do is we wanna make sure they line up. So I have this 10 gram, okay? And I wanna know how many grams is gonna make this 10 gram, okay? But we're going to put it into fractions, okay? So I'm gonna put that in on this side. And you already noticed that my points are not lined up, so it is not balanced. And over here, I have these one grams, right? So we're gonna kind of make a model as we do this that kind of matches. So, so far, let's put in the one. You don't really see anything, so I'm gonna draw a kind of a tape diagram, but I'm gonna just gonna draw my squares first. So there's one, okay? Let's put in a second one. Oh, it's starting to move. So there's two, right? We're gonna put in a third one. There's three, okay? There's four, not quite there yet. Five, it's starting to really kind of balance. I can see it's gone down a little. Six, seven, oops, sorry about that. There's seven. You can kind of see I'm kind of following along with it. So I got seven, eight, not quite there, nine, and then it's not quite there. So let's add in that 10th one. Ooh, now look how it lines up. So I got my 10th one in there. So how many grams did it take to make one or to make 10 grams? If you said 10 grams, you're correct. But each of those, we kind of lined up, right? So we know that in order to make 10 grams, we needed 10 individual grams to make that. So I've got one tenth, and we're gonna put those in. And do you guys know why I made it as one, sorry, let me move that over so you can see it. Why do I have one tenth here? Well, each of these is worth what? A tenth. Okay, not 10 tenths, but one tenth. So here's one tenth, one tenth, so one tenth plus one tenth, right? So this one would be two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, and I got 10 tenths, or we could say 10 grams right? So I know that 10 tenth grams equals one gram, okay? Because I know that 10 over 10 is one whole. So that's super important to remember from when we were doing fractions, what gives us that whole. So let's keep moving. Let's do this. If I had, there's my marker, I'm gonna move this over just a little bit. If I had three tenths grams plus what would give me one whole, one or, t or one gram complete, right? Or one whole. What three plus, three tenths plus what would give me one whole? Huh. So if I color this in, I've got one, two, three. What's left? I have all of these ones left. Right? Let me move this up so you can see it a little. Okay. So how many do I have left over there? Let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, seven tenths grams. So three tenths plus seven tenths is ten tenths or one gram. Okay. That's one way to look at it. 
Okay, so we're going to keep going. Another way we're going to look at it this week is focusing on decimals. Okay, so we're going to take these and put it into a number line, right? And I have, let's see, one, so that's one tenth. Okay, so I want you to fill in your number line. You can pause the video and then fill it in. Okay, once you're done, you can turn it back on. So I got two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, and then 10 tenths, or that also equals one, right? And down here you got zero, so zero to one. Okay. So my next question is, is I, we understand the tenths, but how do I know what is the decimal for one tenth? Well, I'm going to make show you, and this is pretty easy. Okay. All you're going to do is you're going to put a zero dot one, because if I take one divided by 10, you get 0.1. Okay. So if one tenth is 0 0.1, what's 2 tenths? Ah, if you say 0 0.2, you're correct. Then what would be 3 tenths? 0 0.3. Starting to get it, 4 tenths would be 0 0.4. 5 tenths, 0 0.5. Okay, 6 tenths, 0 0.5. 6. 7 tenths, 0 0.7. 8 tenths, 0 0.8. 9 tenths, 0 0.9. Now this one gets tricky. What is 10 tenths? Well, I already know that it equals a whole. So I'm going to write it as 1.0. Because one whole is just 1.0. If I just put a decimal in there, because I don't have anything left over. Okay. So that's how you would put those into fractions. Let's see. So if I had, let's do a, a few examples. If I have five tenths grams, right? What would that equal in decimals? Sorry. Five, ten, five tenths grams, what would that equal in decimals? If you said 0 0.5, you're correct. What if I had 0 0.8 grams equals what in fractions? What would you write? Ah, you would write 8 tenths. Okay, so that's kind of what you're going to do today on your problem set is matching those up. You can also do this in centimeters and meters, and you'll be seeing that. But what you're going to be seeing today is you're going to be seeing tape diagrams and number lines, okay? And you're changing those fractions into decimals, okay, with tenths. Good luck today.